Good day grade 12s. Welcome to your second lesson on number patterns. In this lesson we're actually going to extend your knowledge of arithmetic sequences to arithmetic series. Now there's a difference between arithmetic sequences and arithmetic series. When the terms are added together it is called a series. So if you've just got 2, 4, 6, 8 we call that an arithmetic sequence but if we start adding them then it's 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 etc then you have an arithmetic series and then if you start adding them we can obviously find the sum of a certain number of terms and now there are two formula for the sum of the arithmetic series the first one is sn is equal to n over 2 times by 2a plus n minus 1d don't panic it's on your formula sheet we're just going to learn to prove it which you need to know and then we need to learn to use it and the other formula is the shortened version of that where s of n is equal to n over 2 times by a plus l so let's look at the proof of this so you need to know how to do this proof grade 12s it's very important I guarantee you that in the final exams they're either going to ask you for this proof or the proof of a geometric sequence sum I mean series sum but we'll worry about that later let's just go through this now so it says s of n what we do is we write it out but we don't have the numbers so we write a for the first term then we write plus a plus d that would be your team term 2 a plus 2d is obviously term 3 plus a plus 3d is obviously term 4 and then we go plus and then obviously there's tons of terms here we don't know and then there is the last term now we know let me just get a pen we know that the nth term, right, we know that the nth term, let me write it over here, Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 d, right? So this bit here is the nth term, that's the nth term, which is the same thing as the last term of my series, right? Because I've only got n terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to let a plus n minus 1 d equal l, where L is the last term, just to make this a little bit easier. So if we then rewrite this, we get S of N is equal to A plus A plus D, which is just term 2, A plus 2D, which is term 3, A plus 3D, which is term 4, and then you got, if you think of it backwards, you've got your last term, then you've got your last term minus your common difference, so this would be the second last term. Then you've got your last term minus two times your common difference, which is your third last term. Okay, do you understand that? So first term, second term, third term, fourth term, lots of terms in between. Then if we start working from the back, we've got our last term, the second last term, third last term. So yeah, we are subtracting our differences, our common differences, but yeah, we are adding them. Now what we do is we write it backwards. So the second step is to write it backwards. There is a reason. We're not going mad. There is a reason. We write it backwards. So this time we write L plus L minus D plus L minus 2D plus L minus 3D do, 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 all the way through to the first three terms. So you've got A plus 2B, 2D, A plus D, A plus A plus a. So all that we've done is written this backwards. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add them. Okay, so now we're going to add them. So when we add them, when we add them, what happens? You get 2SN. Do you agree? SN plus SN is 2SN. This plus this gives you A plus L. This over here, what happens? The D cancels with the minus D and you're left with A plus L. Yeah, what happens? The 2D cancels with the minus 2D and you're left with A plus L. Yeah, what happens? The 3D cancels with the minus 3D and you're left with A plus L. Do you get the point? Then over here, as we go into the last couple of terms, if we're adding these two here, we've got minus 2D adds to, uh, cancels with 2D and you're left with A plus L. There we go. Okay, right? L minus D, A plus D, what happens? The D's cancel and you're left with A plus L. And then finally, you're just left with the last term added together, good A plus L. So do you see that we've got a whole bunch of terms that are all A plus L? And how many of these terms do we have? We have N of them because how many terms did we say there were in this? N. So all we do, instead of writing this out a billion times, we write N times A plus L. So now we've got 
2SN is equal to N over A plus L. So all that we then do is we take our 2 across, because remember we're trying to solve for SN. So SN is equal to N over 2 A plus L. But now what did we say? We said L was equal to A plus N minus 1 D. So we're just substituting that back in here. There it is there. So then if we substitute it in, and then we just add up the like terms, we get N over 2, 2A plus N minus 1D. And that, grade 12s, is the proof for your sum of your series, arithmetic series. And you need to know how to do this. You need to. So go practice. Make sure you understand. And again, grade, 11, grade 12s, I hate, hate, hate road learning. It's so difficult to remember in exams when you're all nervous and freaked out. It helps a bit sometimes, but 90% of the time, it is much better if you just understand what you're doing. You understand the steps, then you can remember what, why we're doing them, and you can understand how to go on. Right, so that's the proof. Now we're going to learn to use it. So we know that, what do we know? We know S of N is equal to N over 2 bracket 2A plus N minus 1D. And it says find the sum of the first 100 terms. Find the sum of the first 100 terms. So the first thing we know, we know that 18 is our A. So let's write it out. A is equal to 18. Now we need to find our common difference, which is D. So our common difference, remember, because this is an arithmetic sequence, well actually it's a series now because we've got pluses, is going to be T2 minus T1, which is going to be 13 minus 18, which is minus 5. So we've got that the common difference is minus 5. So let's now find the sum of the first 100 terms. We've got 100 over 2 bracket 2 times the first term of 18 plus 99 times by minus 5 and then we just use our calculator but let's just simplify this a little bit for ourselves that becomes 50 2 times 18 2 8 are 16 that's 36 minus 99 times 5 is 490 5 so then we and we times it by 50 and it gives you minus 22,950 and you can go and check that on your calculators to make sure that you get the same answer as I do. Right, so that is to find the sum of the first hundred terms. Let's do one more example. It says given the series 14, 10, 6, and minus 42 says how many terms are in the series. Okay, so let's have a look at this. First of all, all the formula that we have are Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. We have S of N is equal to N over 2 A plus L. Um, and then finally we have S of N is equal to N over 2 bracket 2A plus N minus 1D. Grade 12s, this dude here is not on your formula sheet, so you have to learn this one. But remember that this one comes from just using the fact that you've got the last term there. Okay. So, it says given the series that 14 plus 10 plus 6 goes to minus 42, how many terms are in the series? So I'm going to use this formula to find out how many terms we have. Why? Because we know that Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1D. So if I have Tn, which in this case is minus 42, and if I have the, com the first is value in the series, which is 14, and I can find the common difference by subtracting, I can work out n, which is the number of terms. So I've got minus 42 is equal to my a, which is 14, plus n minus 1, and now we need to find d. Now how do we find the common difference again? Remember, common difference is t3 minus t2 
in this case we know that's an arithmetic series because I've told you so we don't have to do t2 minus t1 as well so that's going to be in this case I've done 6 minus 10 which is negative 4 and you can see 10 minus 14 is negative 4 as well so this is definitely a arithmetic and arithmetic sequence so this d is minus 4 so now let's solve we've got minus 42 minus 14 is equal to minus 4n plus 4 so that becomes minus 56 minus 4 is equal to minus 4n therefore your n is going to be 15 because minus 56 minus 4 is minus 60 divided by minus 4 is 15 so you've got 15 terms grade 12s if you're getting a negative n you've done something wrong you can't have a negative number of terms so just watch out for that okay so now we've got that we've got 15 terms now it says find the sum of the series so now again we use s of n is equal to and now we can use either of these we can either use 2a plus n minus 1 d or we can use this dude because we've got the number of terms we've got the first term it's 14 we've got the last term it's minus 42 so we can just use that but I actually want to practice using this one so we're going to go through this one so the number of terms we've said is 15 so it's 15 over 2 times by 2 times the first term which is 14 plus 15 minus 1 d which is going to be negative 4 okay so then we've got 15 over 2 we're leaving it like that for a minute 2 times 14 is 28 plus 14 times 4 14 times 4 is 56 but it's a minus 56 because it's a negative 4 where did my pen go? there it is negative 56 okay so that becomes 15 over 2 56 minus 28 is just 28 negative 28 so that becomes if we cancel with this becomes 14 again so we've got minus 15 times 14 and that works out to be minus 210 minus 210 right and that grade 12s is how you use the sum of an arithmetic series so what do you have to take away from this you need to be able to prove this formula here that n over 2 is equal to 2a I mean that's the sum of a number of terms is equal to n over 2 times by 2a plus n minus 1d you need to understand that you must learn this one and then you must be able to apply all three in different types of series questions with arithmetic series to be able to do this section effectively have a great day grade 12s Thank <laughs> you.